Welcome to our guide of El Dorado International Airport, located in Bogota, Colombia. In this guide, we'll cover arrival and customs information, tips on getting a taxi, departure and security waiting times, and a sneak peek at one of the five lounges we visited in the international departures. Between one hour and 72 hours before your flight to Bogota, you'll most likely need to fill out the Columbia Check MIG form. I'll leave a link in the description to the official Columbia immigration site where you can check the requirements as well as fill out the form. Customs probably took us about 10 minutes to get through, but it was late at night and it wasn't busy at all. Even though we had filled out the form beforehand, they asked us where we were staying and how long, so just make sure you have all that information readily available, and don't expect them to speak much English. Upon arrival of an international flight, you'll probably exit and end up by exit door number five. From what we've heard, although Uber is available, it's frowned upon by the police at the airport, so we'd recommend avoiding that. You'll probably see many people in vests holding Taxi's Authorizado sign with Imperial right below it. They are legit and they let you pay beforehand, but it can be slightly more expensive than the official yellow taxis, which is another option. Just make sure you go to the authorized cab 2 sign seen in the picture and don't let someone lead you past all those cabs and across the road. Better stay with the safer options rather than independent taxis who could take advantage of tourists. Although there aren't any hotels within the airport, there are several options close by that offer free shuttles, so that might be worth exploring. We stayed at the Holiday Inn at Bogota Airport the night we arrived, and their shuttle was very convenient. Here you can see the International Departures area. Security was pretty quick, I think we got through in around 15 minutes. Walking a little further down and past some of the other check-in areas, you'll come to the domestic departures area. If you're flying domestic, make sure you figure out your gate number because you'll have to pick a side to go through security. And domestic terminal is essentially split and they're not connected. So if you're flying Avianca, you're probably gonna be on the 71 to 90 entrance in Latam, you'll probably be on the 11 to 24 entrance. If you have a Priority Pass membership, there are several options for the international departures and only one option for the domestic departures. The domestic option is only accessible on the 71 to 90 gates, so unfortunately we missed out on that one. However, we were able to visit all five of the different lounges in the international section, so make sure and check out our in-depth review of the five lounges to see which one might fit you best. Personally, I think Latam's lounge holds a slight edge over the others. Seating and charging ports were plentiful, Wi-Fi was fast, and food and drink options were decent. They even have great goose vodka you can just pour yourself. Nice to see those premium touches.
I hope this guide was helpful and we'll see you in the next airport.